How's it hanging, Freedom Partners? This isn't my room. Hold up. There we go, much better. How's it hanging, Freedom Partners? My name is Voya, and welcome back to episode three of Freedom Flash Fridays. In the last episode, I showed all the tools from episode one and put them all together to make the perfect souffle of thumbnail. But then I asked you all to suggest something that you want to see me make in Photopea because maybe a freedom thumbnail doesn't quite fit your channel for some reason. So let's get to work showing the true power of Photopea and what it can do. And remember, if there are any suggestions on what you want me to make in Photopea, leave a comment down below. So let's go! And here we are back again with another familiar face, that is Photopea. If you're not familiar to it by now, then you should go and watch some other videos. And we are back with our templates, it does look a little different, but here on social, we want to pick the YouTube banner, since it has its own weird dimensions that I'll explain more in a second. Make sure that your resolution is 200, and here we have our beautiful transparent slate. Now, if you look up YouTube banner template, you will get this, and you will see that it is specifically laid out for some strange things. And you can only see the banner on this part if you're on a PC or a tablet or a phone, which is most likely what you'll be using. I doubt you'll be watching and looking at people's channels on your TV. So your banner most likely wants to be within this range. So we're going to start by copying the Freedom banner. It won't be exact, but we're going to make it look nice and give some tips along the way. So of course we want our paint bucket tool and make the background white. You could have just gone with a white background, but I like to do this just out of habit. Next, we're going to make some squares. Now, it does say the rectangle tool, and remember, when you are using something like this, you can hold shift to get a solid shape. If you let go of shift, it won't be a solid shape, and you can make all the rectangles you want, but if you hold shift, it'll keep its solid square shape. So we're just going to resize this to how we want it. And boom, there we go. We're going to rasterize it, because when you rasterize it, that means that you can edit the layer itself, such as paint it, erase on it, whatever you want to do to that layer. But that also means that you can't modify the square unless you modify the layer, such as stretching it out. We're just going to copy this layer a few times, and one gripe about this that I noticed when making this is that, um, unlike Photoshop, that gives you... Um, border lines so you can see where things match up to line them up perfectly. This does not do it unless when you look here with the actual frame. So you're stuck having to try and perfectly line things up. Now just like the Freedom logo has, we're going to make these gray and there we go. We have white with three gray squares and it looks pretty basic but don't worry, it'll get better. We're going to add some squares here and again you'll see that they aren't quite lined up, and I'll fix that in a second. One thing about this that I have found that I dislike, it, it's easier just to have them line up. That way you don't have to go through having to make sure that every pixel looks right, because when this is put on YouTube, just remember that one part will actually show up on the site. So that site will be enlarged, which means if there's anything, any problems in that area, it's going to be noticed, and it's going to be really easy to spot. So having something like this where it's a little hard to make sure that everything is perfectly lined up, that's not the best. Although I'm still going to suggest Photopea as I don't really have any other gripes about it, except that it can be kind of slow sometimes since it is just a browser-based program. Now we're going through and giving everything the white border, just like the Freedom logo has. And as you see here, the squares do not quite match up, so you have to move them around, shuffle them a bit, make sure that everything is in the right spot, and as you can see, it still does not line up. So, mess with your layers a bit, make sure that everything's really where it should be, and eventually you'll get there and you'll be golden. Now, we're going to move this part over here since the Freedom banner does have some transparent squares over here, so we're going to take that and make the borders green, but Voya you may be asking, if you make the borders green, how are you going to see them? 
Well, all you have to do, my good lad, is go over to the normal button, and it's a bit camera shy, and go down and press screen. And it will overlay like this, so you can only see the border. And we're going to do the same with this one, except copy the blue color, and boom, we have our two colors, and this is where it'll appear on the website. Now we have our Freedom logo, and of course, this doesn't look quite right, so once we rasterize it, just like we did with the squares, we can color it, we can erase it, we can do whatever modifications we want to it. So once it's rasterized, then we can resize it and put it exactly where we want it. And we're going to put it more to the left, just like the actual Freedom Banner has, since we're trying to copy that, but not exactly make a duplicate, since I, I'm not that skilled. I hate to break it to y'all. And then, of course, the Freedom logo does have its little text down at the bottom. And you're saying, well, Voya, that text is a little small, isn't it? And yes, again, that text is very small. However, it's because this is such a large image and only this portion of it will be seen. Do not forget that when making the banner. You don't want to have something that takes up the entire screen. You just want something within that square on the template. And of course, once we have that, we're going to need to go through, make it a bit easier to see, and add our stroke to both the text and to the Freedom logo, just to make it stand out a bit, since they do overlap that blue and the gray. It'll just make it a little bit easier to see, a little cleaner looking, and hopefully, it won't look too bad. So there we go. We have the Freedom logo and the squares. But something's missing, like George! He's the show! He's the face of the show, ain't he? Well, we gotta put him in here! We gotta put good old George in here, just like the actual banner has. Resize him a bit, and this is just a random picture of George that I found on Google. This is not the one that they used in the banner. So, if you want to make a banner of George for some reason, then you can do that. And by selecting the surrounding portion of the blue square, then you'll be able to erase parts of George that are outside of the square. Again, you do this by going to the magic wand tool, clicking outside the blue square on the blue square's layer, and then switching back to George's layer. And then, of course, since there is a stroke, George will have to be lined up to make sure that he actually fits in the square and does not overlap any of the border. And here we have Nold, since I don't have the two other people that are in the Freedom Banner. We're just going to use him and another special person that we'll get to in a second. So it's the exact same thing with our man Nold here. You go back to the blue square, then you select with the magic wand tool, and actually here we're using the orange block because he overlaps that one more than the blue one. So we're just going to select the orange one, erase what part of him is inside of the orange, and then we'll just trim, trim him up a bit, Make them look a little cleaner. Make those edges off of that, off of that stroke right there, since we don't want him overlapping none of that. And then we have to move him behind George to make sure that he isn't there. And then we need one more person, but who's that person gonna be? Well, of course, it's yours truly, because what would a video be without me putting myself in it? Oh, yes. That shameless plug right there. So, again, we're gonna take the blue square after we rasterize it, and we're just gonna go, magic wand tool, select the outside, go back to the layer of my image, and erase. And then we're going to go back to my image once we're done with that, and just clean up the border a bit, make sure that it looks clean, make it pretty, and boom! If you look at the template, this is how the banner will look on YouTube's website. It looks clean and Another big thing is that it's not messy, it's not cluttered, you don't have text everywhere, you just have simple shapes, simple pictures, and what the channel's about. Then of course you want to save it, you want to go, you want to export, make everything 100% the resolution and the size, and here's what it'll look like when you put it on YouTube. And there you go, some simple banner tips and ideas for your channel. Do you have any other suggestions on channel art you want me to make in Photopea? It can be banners, it can be thumbnails, it can be anything that you may be using on your channel. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching Freedom Flash Fridays Episode 3. My name is Voya, and I will see you all in the next episode. Hooray!